Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you a haul of Christmas decor stuff. Every year I do one of these because every year, like a crazy person, I buy a bunch of new Christmas decor for my house when I don't really need any more, but I can't help it. So I have, I am surrounded by Christmas right now. I don't have my decorations up properly, but I have decorations that I'm going to show you in this haul. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you while I get while I wiggle and get comfy in this seat, it it is listed as Christmas decor, and I guess it kind of is because it's white and gold. But I'm not really sure how fully Christmassy it is. I just thought it was really cute. So it's this bear. He's a white and gold bear. He's I'm going to say he's wooden. He makes that kind of wooden noise. He came from. TK Maxx and he was £8 and I just thought it was cute so so I got it I mean that's my rationale behind everything that you're going to see is I thought it was cute so I got it but this guy top of the cute list come to think of it as I put him down and I, he's looking at me from the table now uh, if you've been with me a while white and gold decor is something that I seem to be drawn to because if you've been around a while there was an Easter decor haul with bunnies that had gold gold tails. Similar kind of vibe, only they were ceramic and he is. The next item I bought was from Sainsbury's and it is, I'm only going to show you two because it's going to make so much noise, it was a pack of 12 of these and they are, there's one on my lap now, red and white so six of each, um, they're not really making a noise but they're bells, star shaped bells on very pretty red and white twine and they just I just thought they were cute, I just thought they'd look nice kind of hung on the tree. Um, I have two tree themes this year, I have two trees to decorate, there's one in the living room and one in the bedroom. One is going to be, excuse me, red and white and silver and green, and the other one is going to be peacock and kind of metallic. Those are my two themes. I haven't really decided which way around I'm going to do it. The tree in the living room is flocked and the tree upstairs isn't, and I think possibly the red and white and silver and green will look better on the flocked tree than on the unflocked tree but I don't know I haven't decided so anyway so on the principle that they'd be red and white I bought those they were £4 for 12 and they were from Sainsbury's uh, next thing I bought and this was just this was a thing that I bought to make up an order value so that I didn't have to pay for click and collect from John Lewis and this is just seven meters of tinsel and it's only going to be thin uh, and it's got like little little stars on it. This was £2.50 and like I said I was going to have to pay, I think I was going to have to pay £2 to do the click and collect because my order was below whatever the value is so I just threw this in the basket and that served that purpose. Another thing from Sainsbury's here and I think this was about this might have been about £8 and this is uh, a set of, it says here beaded wire, so it says beaded wire string lights, 20 warm white LEDs and I'm going to press the thing and you can kind of see they've got like, they've sort of got stripes on them and they are like a coppery colour. These I bought because when I was in Sainsbury's buying those other little, the little stars that I just showed you, my friend actually picked these up. And then she changed her mind and I decided that actually if you aren't going to have them then maybe I will. So I got those. Not completely sure what I'm going to do with those just yet. I may take them to work and put them around my desk. I don't know yet. But I thought they were pretty and like I said seven or eight pounds so not crazy expensive. Next up I have the same ornament in two colourways and I bought multiples of these. Uh, and of all places these are from Primark. I hadn't really realised that Primark did Christmas ornaments but I saw these a while back when I was in there and as they weren't terribly expensive I decided I'd get them so I think you can probably see that. They are little ceramic, they are ceramic, metallic, I guess they're meant to be reindeer but they, from their antlers they look like moose to me but I think they're probably reindeer um, and they are, like I said, they're ceramic because you can hear the ping they have the cutest little faces and these were £1.50 each 
so I got a bunch of these. Um, bunch in silver, bunch in rose gold. They didn't actually come in yellow gold, which I found quite interesting. I guess silver and rose gold are the popular colourways, but I think if some if you were doing like a mixed metals tree, I think it would be really nice to have had those in gold as well. So it could just be that I didn't see them, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have them in gold, they just had those two. But very pretty, £1.50 each, so a complete steal, because they feel, because they're ceramic, they feel quite sturdy, so they're definitely a good buy. A um, couple of bits from Matalan. I picked up this little wooden sign. I've had like wooden and slate signs from Matalan the past few Christmases, because I just think they're so nice. So this one is just, it's kind of a string of lights and it says, all is calm, all is bright really simple, really cute, and it was £4 in Matalan. Another thing from Matalan that hopefully I'm not going to trash, no I'm not. So this I just saw, and I don't think I've got any batteries in it to show you it lit up, which is a bit of a shame. No I haven't, but it does take batteries. So this is, oh, it's a little advent calendar, and you can take the Wow, that's really glary because of the, the lights. But basically you can take the, you know, take the cubes out and adjust it to show how many days until Christmas. Um, which I think is really cute. There is, you might be able to just see it peeking in there. There is a, a fairy light type bulb in here so that you can switch it on at the bottom and then it'll light up. This was six pounds. And again, Matalan. I just thought it was cute. And this, I, I picked this up in September, probably. I think that was when I got that, the sign and the Primark reindeer moose ornaments. Um, so yeah, it's, it was that. And I just, I had to. Next up, let's, I've got a bag here with some stuff in that I'm just gonna, I'm just going to dump out. So this is, oh, whoops, oh, so uh, this is a couple of a couple of different kinds of ornaments that I got in Marks and Spencer, and again, I got these a while ago to the point that actually when I saw them it was like, huh, I forgot about that. So the first ones are these, so they're just, they are, they are glass with kind of sparkly beads on the top, and they're just kind of dome shaped, and they're very beautiful. These were £2 each, which I think is really, really reasonable for glass ornaments. Like, I don't think that's expensive at all. Um, it's on, like, a white ribbon, and there was, like I said, beads and kind of silver paint at the top, which is very pretty. And I think with the lights on the tree, I think they're going to really sparkle and be really lovely. And then also from Marks & Spencer's at £3 were these, I don't know the best way to show you because all you get is the reflection of everything in the room around, but they are silver balls with a white glitter stripe all the way around, which were also very pretty. Three pounds each, so I got three of those as well. I don't know why it is. I buy ornaments in threes. I don't know why. It's an odd thing that I do, but yeah, threes. And I don't know whether it's because... Hmm. I don't know, maybe there's some design principle. I know when you're putting things on a shelf you shouldn't have an even number of things and maybe it's just that, maybe it's just kind of seeped into my brain that when you're designing a room or you have ornaments or something it should be an odd number because it's more pleasing to the eye or more balanced or something. I don't know. It could, could just be nonsense. We'll see. Uh, the next thing I have here, this is from John Lewis and I had these on my wish list because their Christmas stuff went onto the website really early, but not a lot of it went into stock straight away. Some things weren't even in stock when everything, you know, like when they finally launched everything. So this was something they had on the website and I saw it and I needed it because it was so cute. And so I signed up for the notification for when it came into stock and then when it came in, I placed an order. So it is a red glass, um, balloon dog and I just thought that was adorable with his little face and his little tail too cute to pass up um, so I got three of those because like I said I seem to buy things in threes so I have three of those and then in this bag let's see what we've got is it just these? is that it? yes, oh no it's not I have three more kinds, 
three more kinds of ornaments that I'll show you and then we are at the end of the Christmas decor haul. So it feels it feels reserved compared to a number of previous years so we'll see. So this is what's triggered the idea of like a peacock and metallic theme. These are from Waitrose. Um, for those of you who don't know all of these places I'm talking about, let me just skip back over it. Sainsbury's is a supermarket that also sells some home stuff. Matalan does clothes and homeware. John Lewis is a department store. Marks and Spencer's is a department store. Waitrose is the supermarket that is owned by the same people who own John Lewis. Right? Are you with me? So they had these in Waitrose and they're plastic. So what's interesting is these were 350. 350 each and these are plastic when I was buying glass ones for three pounds from Marks and Spencer's so I don't know but I just I love these colors I love that kind of turquoisey tealy green with the blue and the and the kind of fuchsia pinky purple it's just gorgeous so I got three of those with those they also had these again plastic um and I've marked the fluffy on that, which is a bit annoying. That's got sticky on it. Maybe I'll just show it not that side. So these are, again, that kind of tealy green with, like, royal blue, almost cobalt blue, flocking. Which, again, really, really beautiful. I love these colours. And then the last ornament that I got, uh, again, Waitrose. Same sort of colourway but just beautiful. So it's like a blue and purple kind of iridescent sequin ball on a gold thread with gold beads underneath. And it's just, it was just so pretty. Like I fell in love with it immediately. So I got three of those as well. There is one more, one more ornament I got. Bear with me one moment while I look through. I didn't realize initially. This is a very similar principle. So this came from, there's a garden centre not tremendously far from here that does like a whole Christmas thing every year. Um, and we went a couple of weeks ago. So the brand on this one is Floral Silk Christmas. These were 2 dollars I have three of these as well. And this is just one of those gorgeous kind of, look at all the crap that you can see in the reflection on that bauble. Um, but they are, it's like beautiful kind of opalescent, no, not opalescent, that's the wrong word. What's the right word? It has that kind of, you know, when you see petrol on the floor and it takes on that kind of beautiful reflective shimmery. It has that. It's kind of a silver with just multicolored beautifulness. Uh, and I got three of those as well. So that, I think, is everything for this Christmas decor haul. I don't think there was anything else. No, I don't think there was. And I don't think I'm going to buy anything else decor-wise this year. Oh, there is one other thing. I knew there'd be another thing. Hold on. The one other thing that I almost forgot because it isn't the most super exciting thing. But it's this. It is this kind of jute and silver tree skirt. Um, that's got like silver snowflakes on it and silver metallic thread. Now it says $6.99 on here. I think it was on offer when I bought it because I think I paid £5 for this. And this is from Aldi, which if you don't know is a, a, a supermarket. It's probably more of a grocery store than a supermarket. It doesn't really sell. They sell like odds and ends of homeware, like random stuff, but nothing they don't have a homeware section per se, they just have bins of stuff through the centre of the store that sells random stuff. The day I was there, the random stuff they were selling were tree skirts and so I bought two of those, one for upstairs and one for downstairs. And that is it. That is everything I've bought so far for Christmas decor this year. I don't need anything else. I am, I'm pretty well stocked in terms of what I already have from previously previous years and if you've been around a while you've seen the stuff I've bought in previous years. My plan this year is that I'm going to photograph everything and catalogue it all so that next year when it comes to buying ornaments I don't buy anything too similar to something that I already have because I now have so much that I would be concerned that I would duplicate and I don't really want to do that if I can help it. So 
that's where I'm at. Um, I'm going to decorate my tree hopefully this week because I'm away this weekend which will be at the time of recording I have no idea when I'm going to upload this but at the time of recording I'm going to be away the first weekend of December so I'm not going to be able to do the tree then so I kind of need to do it before I go so I'm going to try and do that this week hopefully um but yeah I am so excited for Christmas and I'm loving all the decorations and just all of the stuff that's going on kind of pre-Christmas even though we're still technically in November I hope you are having a really fun run up to Christmas so far and you are looking forward to all of the everything that comes with Christmas. Mostly the good stuff rather than the bad because I know it's sometimes kind of a pain for some people but try and look on the positive side and all that. Um, and that's it, I will be back with another video very soon. I don't know what because I'm, I'm bulk filming uh, but I have other stuff, other stuff that will be uploaded fairly soon. So I will see you then, thanks very much for watching. Bye.